you survived it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Oh, no, I'm really happy. And I mean, I did start healing work uh, with a few pets. And now also my colleagues from the office, they were lining up and uh, saying, oh, can you do that? And I have that problem. So like you said, it, it starts from from the self or from, I, I didn't do anything. Beautiful. No. Yeah, you, you're just here, you're present, and all of a sudden when you do that, you become the channel. Yeah. And the entire existence, the big kahuna begins to operate through you. Because yeah. existence, God, is really this energy is looking for an empty vessel is wants to go through those who are empty those who are present they're here they they're not operating from having an agenda and all of it, all of a sudden it comes through mm -hmm. yeah comes i experienced through. this and uh, on on sunday i went to a girlfriend and there was like a doctor from a big hospital in frankfurt and he's really very famous he's doing all this stomach and uh, uh, gut uh, uh, surgery and he was having such a back uh, back pain and i oh, yeah. sent him healing and he was so like oh my god it, i feel it it is working and uh, yeah it was also quite a little bit challenging for me but I yeah, I did it. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's a blessing because most most medical professionals they don't believe in healing work, so or at least if they're coming from that school of thoughts, you know, that uh, things only work with pills or surgery or therapy, and you can't do energy healing. Right. He didn't believe at all, but my, my girlfriend, she told him, oh, Susanne, she just came from Sweden. He did, uh, she did uh, a teaching there, and then he only looked into my eyes, and like a few seconds, our eyes were very close, and then he said, okay, let's try it. <laughs> it was really, uh, uh, yeah, it was really, right. yeah. <laughs> because what happened is... He looked into your eyes and you were empty. Yes. And he recognized himself because it's the same self. It's the same mm -hmm. oneness that's in the both persons. So mm -hmm. he recognized the truth. He recognized that it's real. You don't have an agenda. You're not trying to prove anything. You're simply present out of love. Your heart's open. So he recognized the love. Yeah, and he saw the love, exactly. Yeah, he recognized the love and he just surrendered to it. And what yeah. happened is the love get, healed him. So, yeah, it was really amazing. It, um, yeah, it's difficult for me to explain it, but th th this were like a few seconds when his skeptical um, or his skepsis mind. was gone. Yeah, mine was, mind was gone, right. Yeah. Right. And that's a great teaching for him too because um, he got exposed to something beyond his training and his conditioning that something else does exist beyond logic. Absolutely, yeah. It was... A big a big training a big experience and he was so confused because I could see that at first he saw the woman in me you know he was a little bit confused uh, I, I don't know how to say it but then he saw the the love which comes not from the woman it comes from nothing or i don't know what from from the stillness you know i'm so happy to hear that 
well done. <laughs> yeah, so I will keep you posted. <laughs> yes, please do. I'm interested. I will, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> It would be lovely if one day the the um, uh, the medical world would merge in with uh, healing world and uh, the two work hand in hand, and uh, we could do wonders then, mm -hmm. because both of them uh, are working in their own way. And once they merge in together, the power of healing will increase even in, in, in that fashion. It will be even better. Like if somebody needs a surgery or whatever, and then you can do healing on them afterwards for them to recover. Or before they get it going to the surgery, you can do a healing on them so they can really relax and uh, be receptive. So there's a lot that could be... Um, explore in that world once the two merge in together and they they um um recognize one another it would be perfect yeah so, so maybe it's a start in french maybe it's i don't know yeah, yeah we would see <laughs> right we're we're here we're available we're not we're not we're we're doing our work our work is to be present here and now without any agendas. And then we'll see what comes and what wants to be born out of this moment. That's mm -hmm. the most important thing. Okay, all right, Miss Shishi, you have anything to say, my dear? Well, yeah, there's, there's a question from El Hez. Did you wanna speak with them? Okay. So I'm unmuting this person, but can't, you know, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Thank you so much. Um, I have a question. Um, I, I really enjoyed uh, your program and especially last time, the uh, energy. Um, uh, now, uh, my question, or uh, if you can help me, uh, there is a grief or something uh, which uh, prevents me from uh, uh, freedom and happiness. Okay. Uh, if you can feel or give me feedback or if you can help me with that. Okay. So, and you've been having this grief, you've been experiencing it for how long? This is about... Uh, uh, it is about maybe more than 12 years. A lot of things happen, like uh, black magics, a lot of those kind of things, which I worked on them a lot. Uh, I worked a lot. Thanks God I'm alive. Uh, okay. And now I'm in the highest, but I'm still not who I was before. 